again, Doran Markowitz here from D Guitars Miami with another edition of This Week in Cool Custom Guitar Modifications. This week's particular instrument is a vintage patent note uh, gypsy jazz guitar that my friend Vincent Raffard brought me because the action was extremely high. Um, the main problem is that the neck was not adjustable because it had no truss rod. So the neck had a severe bow to it. Um, heat pressing a neck to straighten it can only go so far on a non-adjustable neck. Wood develops a memory and over time the strings would just pull it back to where it was before. So the, really the only way to properly fix this was to steam off the fretboard, route a channel, and install a truss rod. So after about an hour, give or take, I was able to finally get the entire fingerboard off nice and clean. I routed the channel and then I installed a nice uh, truss rod that you could see the adjustment uh, nut at the uh, headstock. And now the action is nice and low. The neck is almost perfectly straight with just the right amount of relief. It's, it's very buttery feeling. It's, it's very fluid now. It's very, very fast playing neck. He said he was used to the action the way it was before, but now, I mean... Now it's a breeze to play, I mean, all the way up. He also wanted me to install uh, dots on the side of the fretboard because it had no position markers. It's weird because it had a position marker for the 15th and 17th frets, but not here. So I drilled and installed dots at the 3rd, 5th, 7th, 10th, and 12th. And now you can see where you're going. Um, he also complained that the strap kept falling off. The uh, strap button was originally here on the back. So I removed it and plugged the hole, and then I installed the strap button at the neck heel itself and I also installed these rubber grommet type uh, strap locks on each strap button. Once you lock them in, strap can't come off. It's nice and solid. So I think that's going to hold him really securely. He has one on each end and uh, oh, it's got an output jack as well because he's got a transducer pickup uh, under the top under the location of the bridge. He plugs it in with a DI box so that it can be amplified well. It's a, it's, that transducer by itself is fairly low output. Okay, so how does it sound? Well, it's very full. It's got great tone. Most gypsy jazz guitars, most McAfee's and that sort of thing, tend to be kind of bright. This one has a great bass register to it. got a very balanced tone which is really nice so I think he's going to be very pleased with the fact that now not only did he not lose the tone but he actually gained more fluidity on the neck <laughs> Vincent I think you're going to be very pleased Okay, so until next time, if you've got a guitar that's got a warped neck but no truss rod or a broken truss rod, um, give me a call. I can steam off the board and either install a new rod or replace the broken one. Um, or if you have any other repair needs, such as a broken headstock, fret work, acoustic uh, repair such as bracings and cracks, electric guitars, basses, or any member of the string instrument family such as the, the, the orchestra class such as violin, viola, cello, and double bass or a dulcimer, whatever. Or if you'd like to have a custom guitar built such as one of my fins or a red special, one of my uh, sweet models or the golden line or something of your own design, don't hesitate to give me a call at 305-896-1811. Until next time, Doran Markowitz from D Guitars Miami. Have a great day.